future. The following contest is a tag team extreme rules match. Introducing first from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. Within two years of his debut, he won the NXT Championship twice and unified it with the NXT UK title. Many more titles in this young man's future. Here comes the street champ representing the bloodline from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds. Solo Sikoa had a meteoric rise in NXT, multiple main event matches, and the NXT North American title. And has already made an impact on the main roster, becoming a part of the bloodline. to make the bloodline proud. Oh, I have no doubt he will do so. Here comes Jey Uso. A man who has grown immeasurably under the bloodline. And representing the bloodline from San Francisco, California, Weighing in at 242 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Main Event, Jay Uso! What a lineage, part of an all-time great dynasty. Yeah, but Jay Uso reached new heights in his career alongside the bloodline. He may primarily be a tag team competitor, but in singles action, Jey Uso is as big a threat as anybody on the roster. The Tribal Chief has arrived. He's the first ever undisputed WWE Universal Champion. And representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns. Greatness redefined. That's God mode. When you see a superstar like Roman Reigns, you see a man who seems practically untouchable. Exactly, Saxton, like a god, an immortal. Part of the pantheon of all-time greats in the WWE. You can count on one hand the amount of people who've held the championship as long as Roman Reigns. Complete domination of WWE. This has brought his family and the locker room in line. And we should all be thankful that WWE has Roman Reigns.
The bell rings on this Extreme Rules match. No telling what sort of carnage and destruction we'll see here. When tempers flare and things keep getting pushed further and further, Extreme Rules is the only possible conclusion. Oh, did you hear that? Does he get him here? And referee cuts off the count in one. This is where great cardio makes all the difference, helping you stay alive deep into the match. Returning to the ring now. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Yeah. Not a forearm. And out of the ring he goes. Steep headbutt. Jeez, and Jay was opened up there. Big clothesline. Paint a picture for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics you'd use to win a no-DQ match? Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe have a buddy waiting to give me a much-needed hand. Maybe throw Saxton like a fastball special. That's the beauty of a no-disqualification match. You can do all that and not get dinged. The sky is the limit. Oh, this is going to be a quick ass. Look at him driven into the barricade. Spine first. Great reversal. them right where they want them, into the corner. Oh, my! He was elusive there. Oh, he fights Jay back. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch! Oh. Headbutt! He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. Russian leg sweep. Down to Bowman. And a double axe head smash. Ooh, that might have just... Winding up. So this game has been eliminated. Throwing down the proverbial gauntlet. Where is this going to go next? To the outside. This could get wild. Scoop slam. Devastating elbow. Good enough. 
setting up for something here, but what? He See up to the rafters, and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. Oh! He's starting to struggle here. Letting this match go a little longer than is strictly advisable. Might want to try making use of that stipulation. Reigns able to sidestep. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Solo must be getting phased by this attack. Sokoa needs to better assess the situation to turn this around. Kick to the cut. Oh, boom! DDT. Punch connects. That's it. Calling it by knockout. Jay Uso and Roman Reigns, the Bloodline. Overcoming all those superstars to have their arm finally raised up high. The wrestling gods have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going.